listen, doll. You know, I got <laughs> something here. I gave you, I, she, Joan wrote the, the introduction to my book. Yes. That's true. And I gave her an autographed copy, which is nice, right? Yes. Now, you made Joan, me pay for it. No, I didn't make you pay for it. You know, I gave you. Now, Joan has a, a hit album out. I went out in a store, you know, and I bought it. And what I want you to do, no hard feelings, but I want you to order. I hear you signing uh, tomorrow. I want you just to sign, sign <laughs> the album for me. <laughs> 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 what he did. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly. And, and, right. <laughs> but you've inspired me. I talk to people. I think I'm going to cut an album. But you'd be but great. I don't, have, I don't have the album. I got the cover. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you dress backstage. <laughs> if, the truth, if the truth were known. No, but isn't, isn't it great? To, like, look, your book is a hit, which is wonderful. Yeah, isn't that exciting? Did That's you expect great. that? No, I didn't expect it to be such a... No, I didn't expect it at all. But I, what's great about it is what happens from it. You know, you get spin-offs. I, I've been asked to... I didn't tell you this the other day when we were working together, because I want to surprise you. I've been asked to write a Broadway play, which I've never done. I'm collaborating with a fella to write a comedy for Broadway. It comes because they suddenly see I can write. All these years yes. of telling jokes means nothing. All I can write. And then there's a possible... We had a few little indications about people from the so-called movie industry talking to me because, you know, the life is pretty interesting in oh, parts. because it's, it's a very poor boy and a struggle. Yeah, and, and, and sort of some indication, maybe a movie, which I would love because I'm such a movie freak. I didn't go with you to see Gandhi. I know, yeah. You want to know something about Gandhi? Now, let me ask the audience something. I didn't see Gandhi, and I'm not putting down a movie because I didn't see it. Now, Gandhi won eight Academy Awards, all right? He also influenced millions of people and will influence them probably for years to come. Now, tell the truth. If you saw this guy in an airport, wouldn't you run the other way? <laughs> <laughs> they have. And now, just like they did with E.T., they're going crazy. I saw Gandhi designer sheets. <laughs> And they got a little puzzle game, help Gandhi get home, you move the little ball. <laughs> and then fallen, you know, fallen idols. They always have fallen idols. And soon, all of a sudden, his daughter's going to write a book, Gandhi, dearest. <laughs> <laughs> he was not attracted. His body, the only thing that hurts was better than mine, but otherwise, forget <laughs> it. I like foreign, I like foreign films. I think, uh, well, American films have come along. I you know what is interesting? When you see uh, a foreign actor in an American film, like an Oriental actor. Do you ever notice this? You see an Oriental actor in a, in a film, and at the end, they have the credits, so they'll have uh, Howard Blakely, played by uh, Robert Mitchum, right? And has all the credits. And then they have this Oriental actor, and they have Ping Pong Pook, played by Wing Wang Wok. <laughs> As if people are going, I thought that was Pak Wu Kook. <laughs> Russian movies, if you see, and I'm a film buff, Russian movies are very, they're very long and ponderous, and the women are not good looking. No Russian women, forget it. You can, they can make Tootsie without the guy making a change. <laughs> Oh, Russian women, forget you. If you, you want to make a fortune, Ernest Borgnine blow-up dolls in Russia. <laughs> when a pimp in Russia says he has a stable, he has a stable. <laughs> you make me laugh. You're, you're so, like you say, you would run the other way with Gandhi, but you're not afraid of anything. I mean, I'm, I'm on the road with you now two years we've worked right, together. Yeah. David, I mean, like, these lugs will come to other stage and you're ready to kill them. Is there anything that upsets you or makes you nervous? Well, I'm not, of, yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of, uh, yeah, that physical thing. I grew up with that. I'm not afraid. I have fears. I have a, a terrible fear. It's a, it's a recent thing of getting a headache. I'm allergic to aspirin. Are you serious? And yeah, and it had the Tylenol scale. You know, the scare with the Tylenol. Yes, forget it. For three months praying you don't get a headache. You know what it's like? Anything. <laughs> Kick me between the legs. Just don't give me a headache. <laughs> Because if I get a headache, you know what I got to do? I'm still, I haven't had one in three months. Maybe it's the pressure of not getting one, you know, to, to worry about. Because if I get a headache, you know, I got to go out, I got to buy Tylenol, I got to buy a dog, give it to the dog, watch him for an hour. <laughs> that whole scare, you know, that whole scare. You know what's interesting? That they, they had the whole thing. Everybody got affected. Visine, they didn't catch one of those guys, by the way. Isn't that something? The Visine loony, people walking around, everybody squinting. <laughs> the mouthwash maniac, remember him? Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> then they had, oh, then had the nose spray, the nasal spray. He was putting lighter fluid in it. People were lighting their cigarettes. Their heads are blowing off. <laughs> so I, but I don't feel as badly as I think the guy, I feel sorry for people who have hemorrhoids. <laughs> 
Forget it. Some loonies out there putting crazy glue in the preparation H. <laughs> No. You know, and I, you know, I, I was saying, if you, if, you, if, you look at, if you look at these national health problems and think about it, whenever we have a national health problem, the federal government, when they don't know what to do, instead of admitting it, they do something very stupid. You know, I, like to have the case now, 14 cases of the plague. The plague? The plague? The plague. The old time plague is back. In America, only in America, mostly in the Western states, confirmed 14 cases of the plague. Now you don't expect the federal government to know what to do. There hasn't been a plague in over a thousand years. Why don't they just come out of Tolbert and say, we know what the hell to do? <laughs> Instead of that, did you see what they're doing? They're coming out with posters to be put into federal buildings, post office and all that kind of thing, plus uh, commercials on radio and television to save us from a possible, a remote chance, but a possible epidemic of the plague, <laughs> warning us. Oh, 230 million Americans never play with a dead animal. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but you know, sometimes after dinner, I like to take a nice walk over to a highway, pick up a dead raccoon and whip him around a little bit. Back after this commercial message, so please. Home, you move a little forward. And then fallen, you know, fallen idols. They always have fallen idols. And soon, all of a sudden, his daughter's going to write a book, Gandhi, dearest. <laughs> he was not attracted. His body, the only thing that hurts was better than mine, but otherwise, forget it. <laughs> I like foreign. I like foreign films. I think. Uh, well, American films have come along. You know what? It's interesting when you see uh, a foreign actor in an American film, like an Oriental actor. Do you ever notice this? You see an Oriental actor in a, in a film, and at the end, they have the credits. So they'll have. Uh, Howard Blakely, played by uh, Robert Mitchum, right? And has all the credits. And then they have this Oriental actor, and they have Ping Pong Pook, played by Wing Wang Wok. <laughs> As if people are going, I thought that was Pak Wu Kook. <laughs> Russian movies, if you see, and I'm a film buff, Russian movies are very, they're very long and ponderous, and the women are not good looking. No Russian women, forget it. You can, they can make Tootsie without the guy making a change. <laughs> Oh, Russian women, forget you. If you, you want to make a fortune, Ernest Borgnine blow-up dolls in Russia. <laughs> when a pimp in Russia says he has a stable, he has a stable. <laughs> you make me laugh. You're, you're so, like you say, you would run the other way with Gandhi, but you're not afraid of anything. I mean, I'm, I'm on the road with you now two years we've worked right, together. Yeah. David, I mean, like, these lugs will come to other stage and you're ready to kill them. Is there anything that upsets you or makes you nervous? Well, I'm not, of, yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of, uh, yeah, that physical thing. I grew up with that. I'm not afraid. I'm crazy. I saw Gandhi designer sheets. <laughs> and they got a little puzzle game. Help Gandhi get home. You move the little floor. <laughs> and then fallen, you know, fallen idols. They always have fallen idols. And soon, all of a sudden, his daughter's going to write a book, Gandhi, dearest. <laughs> He was not attracted. His body, the only thing that hurts was better than mine, but otherwise, forget <laughs> it. I like foreign, I like foreign films. I think, uh, well, American films have come along. I know what is interesting when you see uh, a foreign actor in an American film, like an Oriental actor. Do you ever notice this? You see an Oriental actor in a, in a film, and at the end, they have the credits. So they'll have uh, Howard Blakely, played by uh, Robert Mitchum, right? And it has all the credits. And then they have this Oriental actor, and they have Ping Pong Pook, played by Wing Wang Wok. <laughs> As if people are going, I thought that was Pak Wu Kook. <laughs> Russian movies, if you see, and I'm a film buff, Russian movies are very, they're very long and ponderous, and the women are not good looking. No Russian women, forget it. You can, they can make Tootsie without the guy making a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Russian women, forget it. If you, you want to make a fortune, Ernest Borgnine blow up dolls in Russia. <laughs> when a pimp in Russia says he has a stable, he has a stable. <laughs> You're, you're so, like you say, you would run the other way with Gandhi, but you're not afraid of anything. I mean, I'm, I'm on the road with you now two years we've worked right, together. Yeah. David, I mean, like these lugs will come to other stage and you're ready to kill them.